today. <laughs> part of my preparation. And he came up to me and said, John, I said, I heard you said things going to change my life. Oh. I said, tell me about it. Rule of five. I'm going to teach you the rule of five, and this will change it. So look at your neighbor and say, this will change your life. This will change your life. This will change your life. Look back at your neighbor and say, and it needs to be changed. <laughs> it needs to be changed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready? Here's rule five. Here's rule five. If you... Um, if you have a tree in your backyard that you want to cut down, and you have an axe, if you pick up the axe and you go to that tree and you swing five times, put the axe down. Next day, go out in the backyard, pick up the axe, go to the same tree. Put the axe down. The next day, you go out in your backyard, you pick up the axe, you go to the same tree. Five times. If every day you pick up an axe, you go to the same tree, and you take that axe and you swing five times at that tree. Just five. Not 15, not 50, not 500. Five times. Let me ask you a question. What is eventually going to happen to that tree? That tree will fall. Absolutely. Case dismissed. There's, there's, we don't need to talk nor debate or question about the tree falling. It will fall. And what's interesting is we only swam, swung at that tree five times. But we every day, every day, we every day went to that tree and we five times with that axe. We hit that tree. Now, if the tree is big, it may not fall for a couple of years. The tree is small, maybe a couple of months. You see, the size of the tree will determine the time it falls. But it doesn't matter what size the tree is. It will fall if you every day swing five times, take an axe, and hit that tree. You've got to ask yourself a question this morning. What's my tree? What's my dream? What do I really in my life want to accomplish? And by the way, it's what's my tree, not what are my trees. You see, if you go out every day and you swing five times at a different tree, you don't knock any trees down, you just have a scarred forest. Most people, that's how they run their life. They just scar things up. They don't fell the tree because they don't consistently come back to the same place and consistently swing five times at it. So let's go back to my tree. My tree is writing books. That's what I do. So you say, well, my God, John, how do you, you've written 72 books, oh my gosh, oh, how, you must be brilliant, you must be a genius, 72 books, <laughs> nothing brilliant, nothing genius, <clears throat> or I told you how long it took me to write my first book, so genius is not in it, <laughs> if you just look at me, all of you should be greatly encouraged today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is not in the teaching, but I'm going to stop long enough because you need to hear it. Success creates a gap between you and other people. Are you with me? I call it the success gap. People look at people that are highly successful and they see the money they make and the places they go and the friends they have and the things they do. And they, and they say, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They're a star. They're a star. And when you're successful, you've got a choice to make. You can either keep that gap really big and be the star. And if you keep the gap really big, you're the star and you have what they call fans. 
that you have fans that follow you around. They're fans. Or you can make a determination to close that gap. You see, many years ago, I said, I'll close the gap. And you close the gap by not talking about how great you are. You close the gap by talking to people about the things that you've missed and the things that you've failed out. And you, you, you use a lot of self-depreciating humor and you help people understand that, 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 that you just, you, you're not a star. You see, I don't want, see, my name's John. I, I don't want fans in my life. I want friends. And I determined the only way you get friends is close the gap. Because when you close the gap, you make success possible for other people. Now they don't see you as the star and say, I would like to be like you. They see you as a friend and say, I could be like you. All of a sudden, it's off of you and what you've done, and it goes to what they can do, and it is empowering, it is releasing the people. And if you really want to, in each one, if you really, if you really want to just develop a culture, a, a, a culture of success, close that gap. I work hard at it. Well, when I go international, it's, it's just rock star stuff, and I won't allow. I just won't. I mean, I, they want to usher me in, they want to usher me out. I, I get the security guys all the way. I walk through the crowd. I shake hands. We take pictures. I talk. I kiss babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want. I want to be your friends. Well, when I'm done today, I want you. I'm going to walk off stage. I want you to say, I can do that. I can be successful. You see, if you want fans when you walk off stage, everybody talks about how great you are. If you want friends when you walk off stage, everybody thinks how great they can be. Well, there's a world of There's a world of Now, let's go back to the rule of five in writing. People ask me all the time, say, how do you write your books? Well, it's very simple. One word at a time. I've not found another method. I, I've tried a couple times. <laughs> blank page. Look at it and go. <laughs> <laughs> Be filled. <laughs> Never worked for me. I've got a four color pen and a legal pad. And I write one word at a time. So they say, well, how come you've written so many books? Well, number one is the secret is get old. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a rule of five for writing. You see, my tree is writing books. And every day, every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. Every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. Every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. Every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. Every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. Every day I read, every day I think, every day I file, every day I ask questions, every day I write. And you look at me and say, Chuck, what, what do you mean by every day? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by every day is every day. Now, now, hold, 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 hold. When you say every day, you mean every day? <coughs> Can I just every Christmas? Guess what I do every Christmas? Every Christmas I read, think, follow, mm. ask questions, right? Guess what I do on my birthday? Every birthday I read, think, ask questions, right? Fine. Guess what I do on my anniversary? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> but during the day, I read things. <laughs> <laughs> every day, you see, the key is every day. Can I tell you something? You're better to do essential things every day than big things someday. We overestimate the event. We underestimate the process. And the law of consistency says you can't do that. You can't underestimate the process. The secret. Okay, here, I told you earlier, I'd tell you the secret of success. You thought I'd forgotten it. I forgot. I'm going to tell you right now, the secret is not going to tell you right now. It's, I was just too fast. We'll take it for granted. <laughs> I'll make you wait longer. <laughs> 
will look at your neighbor and say, sometimes John's going to teach you the secret of success. <laughs> <laughs> See how much better it is when you have to wait for something. Now, now you're ready to listen. The secret to your success is determined by your daily agenda. What you do every day determines your success. Every day, by what you do, you're either getting better or worse. Every day, you're either preparing or repairing. Mm. Every day. That's why Every day. Thinking. People come to my life and they say, John, what books? What books?